Hello everyone, welcome to Illustresa. So this is the fifth lecture of our uh, lecture series on fundamentals of structural analysis. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, a small example. I will take a small example and try to understand again uh, about the static equilibrium. So in our previous lecture, we have already discussed uh, free body diagrams and what static equilibrium is. Today we will try to understand how we can use this equilibrium equations in the our uh, solutions right to find out the unknown forces so let us let us take a small problem let us take a small uh, system okay a very simple system suppose this is a beam uh, with node a and b okay and what we are doing we are assigning a support here it's a pin support at this particular point and a, a roller support at this particular point okay and and uh, let us let us take a load here point load of suppose load p and uh, now uh, you can you can you can draw these lines so basically the distance from uh, let us name it this point suppose some point c so this distance from a to c let us say this is a and the distance from c to b let us say this is b so this is my system with a loading uh, with a p uh, load right now if we try to find out the free body diagram try to draw the free body diagram of this uh, i will i will write it as the free body diagram of the same so to draw the free body diagram let us let us say that uh, what sign convention will be taking for the forces which will be uh, you can say putting here uh, by replacing the uh, support so let us say uh, let us say that the forces which are uh, going upwards the vertical forces this is positive okay the horizontal force which is going this direction left to right suppose uh, if, if we if we draw a you can say axis system this is x and this is y so this upward force okay uh, along the y direction positive y direction is positive the horizontal force along x direction positive x direction this is positive and suppose the you can say the moment along this direction okay My moment uh, this direction this this moment suppose this is also positive so you can say this is my positive so this sign convention will be following while drawing the free body diagram here okay so let us draw the same free body diagram let us draw the beam here okay we have the beam a and b point and then we have c point here at which we have the load and the load is load p correct and now if we replace the you can say if we replace the uh, supports with the equivalent forces so in this case it is a pin support so we know in this pin support uh, the vertical uh, you can say movement will be restricted so we will get a vertical force here like this upward so this is positive value so we can say this is my a y positive correct there is no horizontal force so there is no need of writing the horizontal uh, you can say component but let us write it here horizontal component here which is a x okay and and here in the roller see there will be no moment developed so we are not writing any moment in this particular point in this particular point as it is a roller supports only the vertical movement will be restricted here so here this b y is a positive correct so this is my free body diagram correct this is my free body diagram and if i if i uh, again draw from a to c it is a and from c to b it is b correct now now from equilibrium equation or the from uh, uh, if, if we say about uh, static equilibrium so we know that the summation of all the forces okay all the external and internal forces and moments shall be zero right so it should i mean the external and internal forces shall uh, cancel out each other then only we can say the system is in equilibrium right so now let us take one by one let us take the forces about 
or the forces along x direction so we say that as per static equilibrium equation all the forces along x direction should be zero so from that what we are getting from that if you see we say that the ax force is equal to zero because there is only one force we have we are finding here ax and it is zero so that's why we said there is no uh, external force so the internal force which is or the support or the reaction which is ax it is zero correct now let us jump into the vertical forces so here we say that all the vertical forces, summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero as per equilibrium equation, right? So, what are the vertical forces we have in this? If you see, we have two positive vertical forces as these are upwards. So, AY plus BY and this P as it is downward. So, it is, uh, you can say downward direction. So, if we say plus then minus P, so it will be plus minus minus P should be equal to zero right so from this i can say this is my one equation one uh, equilibrium i mean one equation we had de developed and from here if we say a y plus b y equal to p this is the second equation now if you see from these two equilibrium equations fx and uh, summation of fx and summation of fy we got the first answer we got the first unknown that is ax which is zero right from the second equation a y plus b y equal to p that we have got correct but we have not got exact value of a y or b y okay we are again dependent on each other right so in this case if you want to find out a unique uh, value what we need to do let us take another uh, component like any moment though we know that here there is no moment so that means if you take moment about a or moment about b both should be zero right so if we take moment about suppose b here b equal to zero correct if we say moment about b equal to zero so what we will be what we will be say finding here that that which forces will be developing moment here so if you see here a y and there is a a y which is the uh, you can say in this direction upward direction and the force uh, the lever arm a plus b okay this whole lever arm will develop a moment like this in this point b right it will be developed by a y multiplied by a plus b and as this is this direction so it will be a positive value correct a positive moment if the moment is being developed and then then we have a uh, you can say force p downward and it is acting at a distance of b from the point b okay so there will be a opposite moment developed like this okay and this will be developed by p multiplied by b p b and as this is opposite direction so it will be negative Right? and if we add these two it should be zero obviously it should be zero right as we can say here there is no moment so if we now put it here that a y into a plus b minus p b equal to zero right so from here what we will get from here what we will get we will get that uh, you can say uh, a y equal to p b by a plus b okay so this is my third equation so you can see now we got a y which is independent of b y right so now we can easily find out b y by putting a y into this second equation so from equation 2 sorry from equation 2 and 3 what we are getting from equation 2 and 3 what we are getting that p y equal to p minus a y so p minus p b into a plus b so ultimately what we are going to get uh, we are going to get here is equal to p a so here you can see it will be p a into p b by a plus b and minus p b here it will be so p b p b cancel so p a y a plus b it will be right so you can say now by also independent of a y so we got 
uh, all the unknowns here fx fy sorry ax ay and then we have by so all the unknowns are uh, solved so this way by using the equilibrium equation you can find out the unknown forces okay so now you can say that uh, what if we take moment about x uh, so sorry moment about a so here also here also it is very easy if you see moment about a is equal to sorry moment about a equal to 0 because it is a pin support right so now uh, what moment will be developed here so one moment will be one moment will be p into a okay p into this small a which will be this direction like this so it is a positive moment so you can say p a and then this b y into a plus b and this will be a negative moment so minus b y into a plus b equal to zero so from here if you want to find out you can say b y so b y equal to uh, if you take this side so p a by a plus b so you can say this and this that we have found out the same right so from taking by taking any of this you can find out so just, you just have to understand that which will be more beneficial uh, to take right so so this is a small example how static equilibrium equations you can use to find out the unknown forces right and here this free body diagram will help you a lot right free body diagram will help you a lot so this sign convention is for this free body diagram only to solve out i mean to find out this uh, reaction forces okay uh, when will we find out the moment shear forces now we will again understand the uh, you can say uh, you can say sign convention for the moment and shear and all okay as of now for this free body diagram this is the sign convention that we are uh, i mean we are going to follow right so uh, this is it for this lecture i hope you understood how uh, the static equilibrium equation uh, need to be used so in our next uh, few lectures we'll be doing the similar kind of things we will be doing more complex uh, you can say solutions or you can say more complex problems and uh, we'll see the application of the equilibrium equations right so if you have any doubt you can always write me in the comment and uh, uh, in the in the next lecture uh, we will do some more problems okay and then we will jump into the next topic which is uh, determinate and indeterminate structures okay so once we understand the application of equilibrium equations then we can easily understand the uh, uh, the determinate indeterminate structures okay so uh, see you in the next lecture thank you